afternoon. Uh, a couple of people that have played on my server and just people on Reddit and all kinds of spots, Steam, wherever. Uh, you hear things like, well, I used to be able to run the game just fine. Now I can't. <clears throat> I can't join a private server. I can only join officials. I don't know what's wrong. I've uninstalled all the mods. I've reinstalled them. I've verified files. I've done this. I've done that. A real life example, a gentleman that plays on my server. Um, he's on my Twitter. He follows me on YouTube. We worked this problem together. I created this system when I had to reinstall the game and I wanted to do it absolutely clean when I put in Windows 10. I couldn't get the game to work uh, upgrading from 7 to 10 and I wanted to get Windows in clean and with a lot of Steam research uh, and then actually trying it and failing I came up with this step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. I'm gonna put it as a Google Doc and have a link down there in the info so if you're at a point where you simply can't get the game to work at all, and it used to work, then this is something I recommend you use. Um, it, it's the last resort. Make sure you're patient and you're in the mood to do it when you do it. In the case with my friend, uh, Rico, we went through every other step first. We spent a full day on all the small stuff, and what it came down to is we did this. And I mean, we tried everything you could think of, and this worked. This has also worked for many of my other players. It's worked 100% of the time. If you use it and it doesn't work, put a comment in there. Um, I'll figure out what's going on for you. So the first step, and I would recommend following it step by step to the letter. The first step is get rid of AVG free or any other virus protection you're running or any malware protection. During this process, Windows Defender is going to do the job. Once you have the game up and running perfectly, you know, you can always try it again. Uh, so the first thing I do is I go to the library, I right click on ARC just like this, I view do downloadable content, and I uncheck all the downloadable content. Okay, and then I restart Steam. The next step is to head into the mod store and get rid of all our mods. So we go to community, workshop, we'll search for ARC, ARC Survival Evolved. Your files, okay. Click on that drop down, subscribed items, and unsubscribe from all. Click, that's all. From there, restart, uh, shut down Steam, and leave it shut down, okay. Now, when you erase the mods, they still leave uh, problems and bits and pieces behind. So, we're going to want to get rid of that. So, we are going to. Go to these locations. Okay, I'll do it kind of the slow way. So you guys see Windows Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps. Okay, uh, so the first one Steam, Steam Apps, Workshop, Content. Wipe the whole content. This is the store some mods in here. Wipe that whole folder out. Just delete it. We're going to delete folders that will make the game not work, but we're doing a clean clean install after. Okay, once that's done, <clears throat> we're going to start Steam. We're going to uninstall the game. Now, even with the game uninstalled, there's still mods and other uh, things that are left behind. So we need to go to this place, which is Program Files 86. And this could vary if you're running, obviously, a different, or you've downloaded the game into a different place, but this is default, okay? So Steam... Steam apps again, common, arc shooter game, dump it, just erase the folder. Of course, uh, the game's not going to work after. We've uninstalled it and we've erased folders. Not to worry, though. We'll get them back. Now, make sure Steam is shut down for this entire process. We've already made sure that all our marks, mods for arc are unsubbed. After this, we're going to restart our PC. Next thing we want to do is start the installation of the game. So we're going to obviously go to library again, in case, I mean, I'm sure you know, but I'll just show you anyways. Even if my game was uninstalled, it's still going to show up here. Of course, I don't have to pay for it again. And we'll have an option, uh, as opposed to playing game, as to install the game. Of course, that's the same place you go to uninstall. So we're going to install ARC. That'll obviously take some time. <clears throat> this step's important. All of them are important. Uh, once ARC is reinstalled, I will go ahead and restart Steam again. Uh, that's not key. Okay. After ARC is installed, do not run it. Okay. 
right click on arc go to view properties or properties sorry okay then we're going to go to local files and we're going to verify integrity of files we're going to have a lot of errors at this point normally okay when we verify integrity of game files we want to repeat this step until twice in a row you have no files with errors this step can take 15 20 minutes depending on your pc that's why i said at the beginning be patient this is a long process if you want to play arc and you want it to work I mean, as you know with ARC, you, you might have to invest some time into it. Part of ARC. After that's done and we've got two clean goes, we're going to restart our PC again. And again, these, some of these steps are redundant, but if I want it to work 100% of the time, and it has so far, we need to do them step by step. And I know some of you guys out there are a lot smarter with PCs than me. You might say, well, you don't need to do that, or that's stupid, or this is dumb. I don't know about any of that. I just know this has worked for every single player that I've given it to that was having major issues. So if you're at the end of your rope and you don't know what to do, whatever anybody else tells you, this is going to work. It's just real-time proven. Okay. Launch Arc. Join an official server. Okay. Now, if odds are, if you're playing on official, <clears throat> you're probably good to go. That, that ends it for you. Uh, hopefully, though, you found yourself a good private server because we all know about officials. So if you're on a private server, we need to do this step, and we need to do it exactly how it reads here. Do not download the mods in advance. Okay, when you join Arc on a private server that has mods, it automatically downloads them. <clears throat> you can expect a timeout, possibly a crash. Sometimes it seems to be doing nothing, and depending on your internet connection and your PC, this could take a while. Now, a while is a relative term, but everybody's PC and internet connection is different. So if it seems like, you know, we're talking 20, 30, 40 minutes, this is common, it's normal, it's not the end of the world. You're going to bring up your control alt delete or your task manager. You're going to, after, after a long time has passed, you're going to go ahead and, and uh, end task, okay, for ARC, for ARC. Next time you log in and rejoin that private server again, there's a pretty good chance that it just got hung on one of the final mods, and it'll just either join the game right away, or it'll finish installing. On Windows 10 for sure, at the bottom right of the screen, you should see it saying downloading mods or installing mods. In some cases on Windows 7 and 8, you'll see that as well. So that'll give you an idea on what's happening. Of course, if this video was helpful, guys, subscribe and like. Uh, all that good stuff. Hit that little bell for the notifications. I do play a lot of games, but I put up more ARC videos than anything else. And I have a whole you know month's worth of ARC videos planned. So, um, if you want the step-by-step -step for yourself to look at as you do it, no problem. Uh, just uh, open up that info section a little better and you'll find a link to the Google Doc where I've copied and pasted this. So, thanks for watching. Y'all take care and have a great night.